How are we going to translate variation statements? Know how in this video. Good day learners. Today we're going to discuss how to translate variation statements. As we all know, we have four types of variations. We have the direct variation that is equal to y is equal to kx. And inverse variation, we have y is equal to k over x. Joint variation, we have y is equal to k times x times z. And combined variation, we have y is equal to kx over z. So this time, I'm going to give examples and we're going to translate those statements into mathematical symbols. So I have here our first set of examples. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to translate these statements into mathematical symbols. So let's start. Okay, so let's have the first example. The area A of a square varies directly as the square of a side. Okay, so we can see here, yung clue natin would be varies directly. So ibig sabihin nito, we're going to use direct variation. So again, yung form ng direct variation would be y is equal to k x. So, papalitan lang natin yung y at saka x depende sa binigay na variables ng statement. Okay. So, we have the area A. So, A is equal to K. K would be our constant. So, parating ng dyan si K. Then, varies directly as the square of the side S. So, yung side natin na S may nakalagay pa na another na condition. So, nakalagay dito square of the side. So, ibig sabihin, yung S, we're going to uh, raise it to the power of 2. So, yung sagot natin would be A is equal to KS squared. Okay. Let's have number 2. The cos C of fish varies directly as its weight W in kilograms. Okay. So, since directly pa rin yung uh, keyword natin or varies directly, then we're going to transform this one using direct variation. So, we have C is equal to K, the constant, and weight. So, yung C, again, depende lang sa weight ng fish. Okay, next, the weight W of an object is directly proportional to its mass, M. So, yung keyword natin is directly proportional. So, you can have Varies directly or pwede ring directly proportional. Same lang sila ng thought. Ang ibig sabihin pa rin ito would be uh, direct variation. So, our mathematical symbol would be W is equal to K and M. Next, the number of persons N needed to do a job varies inversely as the number of days D to finish the job. Okay. So, anong classing variation yung sa number 4 natin? We have inverse variation. So, nakalagay dito yung keyword natin na varies inversely. So, again, yung inverse variation, we have y is equal to k over x. So, papalitan lang natin yung y and x. Depende kung ano yung given na mga uh, terms or variables sa ating statement. So, we have number of persons and that would be equal to k or constant over uh, D, the number of days. Let's have now the last set of our examples. So we have number 5. P varies jointly as Q and R. So pag sinabi natin joint, uh, jointly, it means that we're going to use joint variation. So sa joint variation, para lang siyang direct variation. Pero yung independent variables natin ay more than 1. So, in this case, we're going to write P is equal to K, yung constant natin. And sabi na dito, varies jointly as Q and R. So, ibig sabihin nito, uh, it varies directly as Q and R. So, we have Q and R. Okay? So, para lang siyang direct variation, pero this time, dalawa or more than one na yung... Uh, variables na ginamit. Okay, next. The density D of air varies inversely as the volume V of water in the atmosphere. So, yung keyword natin is varies inversely. 
So in this case, yung number 6 ay same pa rin sa inverse variation. So we have density D, yung dependent na variable natin. Then we have also K over our uh, volume V. Okay, so ito na yung representation natin ng uh, statement sa number 6. Okay, let's have number 7. W varies jointly as C and the square of A and inversely as B. So, kung mapapansin natin, marami na siyang uh, klase ng variation na pinanggit. Jointly at saka inversely. So, ibig sabihin nito, this is an example of uh, combined variation. So, sa combined variation, magkahalo-halo na yung different or yung naunang tatlong types ng variation. So, para hindi tayo malito, iisa-isahin natin sila. So, dito muna tayo sa first na phrase. W varies jointly as C and the square of A. So, jointly, para lang siyang direct variation. So, we have W is equal to K. Then, we have C and the square of A. So, pwede natin siyang isulat as C A squared. Pero, para hindi, tayo mas, para hindi tayo malito, we're going to write it alphabetically. So, uunahin muna natin yung A. So, sabi niya dito, nakalagay square of A. So, it would be represented as A squared. Okay? Then, C. So, times C. So, ito na yung joint variation natin. Okay? So, to continue, nakalagay inversely as B. So, W, it varies inversely as B. So, ibig sabihin nito, we're going to write down B sa denominator natin. So, the final answer would be W is equal to K A squared C all over B. Okay, last example. The pressure P of a gas varies directly as its temperature T and inversely as its volume V. So, same pa rin siya para sa number 7 na combined variation. So, pinaghalo yung direct variation at saka yung inverse. So, we're going to write now P varies directly as its temperature T. So, ibig sabihin si T ay ilalagay natin sa numerator. So, we have the constant K, then T. And inversely, as its volume V. So, yung V natin na variable ilalagay natin sa denominator. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.